Hello guys, we've got our aprons on today, which means one thing. We're, it's a baking day today. It's a baking day. Once a week I give Tracy a hand with the baking, uh, normally on a Wednesday, but it's a Thursday today because tomorrow we are back at... The farm shop. We are back at the farm <laughs> the shop. The weeks just go by so fast, don't they? Yeah. Always, I don't know. They just... Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year to you. I don't think it's too late to say that, is it? Oh. No, I don't think so. I don't know what the date is, but it's only early January, yeah. isn't it? So... Yeah. So I finished my stint with Tracy today. So what have we baked Sounds this morning? Sad. I know it does sound. <laughs> finished my stint. Yeah. Well, I have anyway. I finished my shift <laughs> at the baking bird for today because I'm just doing up until dinner time. And Tracy made a nice loaf of bread. What's in the bread? Uh, just like a malted wheat bread. Yeah. You used to make a lot of sourdough, didn't you? I did. Used to. Yeah. It's just a bit more labour intensive. You got to time it a bit right, haven't you? So yeah. It's it's not sourdough this week. Yeah, it's nice. It was nice. Very nice. I had um, mackerel and chili sauce. You had chili sauce, and Tracy had uh, mackerel, watercress, and broccoli sprouts. That I spray myself, so that's nice. Oh, very healthy. Very healthy. <laughs> it's January, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's what we all do in January. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. I can't. You know, we were just cooked all these cakes and I'm struggling to remember exactly what we did now. So we did marmalade loaves using up the very last of our batch of marmalade that we had at home from yeah. last year but we're yeah. just waiting for the delivery of the Seville oranges aren't we from yes. the farm shop. Waiting for a delivery from Seville and then we can um, <laughs> crack on and fulfil some eagerly awaited orders yeah. of marmalade we we get harassed <laughs> so for about yeah. six months we've yeah. been so <laughs> yes yeah. we yeah. we ran out didn't we if, well about two plus months ago and it was a long time ago now. every weekend since when's the marmalade coming yeah. back but you know we gotta wait yeah. guys it's it's, it's, it's january but it is coming yeah. so yeah we're nearly there so we used that the last bit didn't we on about the, marmalade oh, line, yeah, yeah. And we've done um, an apple cake, which is just like a nice simple cake with apple in, which I think will be really nice in this colder weather because people can have it warmed up a bit, which is always lovely, isn't it, I think. And the apple cake, it's the same recipe we did the last time. Mm. We're, we're learning now. Well I, well, I think we're learning. We're trying to learn. Um, yeah, if something gets a really, really good um review then we kind of make a mental note of it mm. and and do it again the other thing we've got to think about is in the winter we've said it before not all cakes stand up to being in the cold so mm. well so i think if you can have a cake that either it can be warmed up or it's got a kind of oil or something like that in it to make it more moist i think that that works better in the winter months at the farm shop for us um to get the nicest sort of cake because obviously butter in cold goes hard and then it makes the bake feel like it's stale and it's absolutely not but it's just because the butter's gone hard in it it's the same with the pastries isn't it we have to be mindful yes. of the pastries in the winter which leads you into the chocolate cake because that was it's oil based oil based cake, which is nutella cake so everyone will be very happy because that's another favorite isn't it it certainly is yeah, well, this is it. You see, mm -hmm. make a make a mental note of what people absolutely love because they give you your feed, their their feedback. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, which is which is really oh, gratefully good. received it because like it. it's nice to know what people actually think of what yeah. we're doing. Otherwise, we're just sort of well, what I, around in the dark. Yeah, really. well, what I may yeah. like to eat myself may not be what anyone no. else wants. So no. yeah, oh, I'm guilty of that. Yeah, you're terrible. If, if Trav was in charge, I, uh, what would mm. be on the counter? Bakewell tart, really, really, really hard flapjack, mm, and maybe very crispy cookies. Yeah. Everything dry. <laughs> very burnt. dry. Very dry and burnt. yeah, probably over over baked. That would be Trav's yeah. choice. So I'm not sure it would be so good for a business. No. no. <laughs> maybe not. What else do we do? Um, Okay. Oh, cheese scones. Cheese scones. Made a batch of cheese scones as well. They're always lovely. I was the chief chief grater today. Mm -hmm. I tried out our new cheese grater. Um, not had the best results of it, to be mm -hmm. fair. I think the old one that we've had the for... The old traditional one that we've had for yeah. 20 years or longer probably, probably worked better. Probably worked better. This one's, this one's more efficient mm -hmm. at grating the cheese, get it done a lot quicker, but... Not the same it's not as no the strands don't sort of remain as long for some reason they seem to break off i don't know why that would be but so trevor's now gonna 
put his different overalls on and go out in the garden and do some shed building. Mm. You? I've it's, been it's dry I've tonight. been building a new storage facility for the baking bird, um, which when it's completed will I think revolutionise and make so much easier the situation of baking from uh, a small kitchen really and a small house as well. So the thing we did, I think we've spoke about it before, is we turned one of the bedrooms because our son moved out. So we had a room spare and we turned that into a, a pantry and the whole room is absolutely full of ingredients. So I just don't know how we were coping before. I really don't. Yeah. I think you, you fill a space very quickly, don't yeah, you? That's the yeah. thing. But yeah, so the shed building, um, I'm just going to go and buy some more supplies. Yes. So, I'll, yeah, I'll take you outside and show you the shed, actually. I'll show you the... Uh, it's coming along really well. I'm really happy with it. I'd like to have done a little bit to it over the Christmas break, but it just rained every single day. Um, talking about rain, poor Chris and Haley from the farm shop are waist deep in water. So really feel for those guys um very very sad that well, is many people were in water weren't they because yeah. last weekend was a bit of a different weekend at the farm shop a little bit wasn't it because a lot of the yeah. roads so the road that comes from Tricksbury to the farm shop and gloucester that was all shut because of the flood yeah. water so flooded both ways yeah, yeah. i hope I, I believe the roads are open now so yeah. hopefully people can get there this week yes and get the cake they want I was thinking of the young ones then. The water has subsided. We just made the frangipan, didn't you, to do the croissants uh, tomorrow morning before we leave. So I think we're up to speed. I'll give you a quick tour around the uh, shed <laughs> and, um, and then we'll see you at the farm shop mm -hmm. with the completed cakes. Hopefully. Hopefully, and it'll go, be a nice weekend, we hope. Uh, very yeah. chilly, very frosty this morning. First thing I did was light the fire. Mm, we're trying sure. to get away from using the gas central heating as much as we can this year because um, everybody knows well, how just, much money it is. It's just absolutely ridiculously expensive, isn't it? So we're trying to sort of offset by buying in more wood, burning more wood. And to be fair, it's lovely. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, it practically heats the house. There's one corner of the house that does remain quite cold, but one of the rooms is the pantry room, so that's not a bad thing. But the other room thinking about doing something like um, one of those little diesel motorhome heaters that you put diesel in. Apparently they're incredibly efficient to run and um, that might be a way of getting heat into that part of the house without actually turning the central heating on. So something else I'm going to think about. So. Let's go and have a look at this shed. Here we are. It's coming along quite well got such a lot of work left to do even though I've come so far let's have a quick look on the inside so I'm insulating it on the inside with 50 millimeters this foil back insulation board I've got most of the way around I can't do this wall here because I'm going to put some cladding on the outside so I've got some wany edge board cladding to go on the outside and I'm going to need a button to screw it into. So if I haven't got that button there, it's going to make it harder. So I thought I won't insulate these walls that are all going to be cladded in wany edge until I've got the wany edge on, just in case I need to screw into the button. And then I'll just insulate it afterwards. But it's, um, it's well and truly coming along. Put a nice concrete floor in it that's dead flat as well and um, it's off the ground well so if it floods it won't flood in the shed and i last thing i did was put these uh, bricks down as a patio and i've got some i mentioned it the last time you've got fingerprints in them now that wall was constructed in 1901 so that's an old fingerprint isn't it this is the wany edge boarding this will be going on the outside as the cladding. It's going to look really smart, I think. There's our firewood there. Morning. It's Friday. It's not quite as cold as we thought it was going to be, so we're very happy. 
and we've got all the cakes that we were prepping through the week. They're all here, they're all ready, and hopefully they're gonna sell. Let me show you what we've got. So this is the very popular chocolate Nutella cake. When slice is already gone, literally just open, but it's already gone. So that one. This is the apple cake that we were doing. And this would be super lovely, I think, warmed up with some big blob of cream on the top. Look at that. Lovely. And this is the marmalade loaves that we baked with the sticky marmalade loaves. And they've come out really well too. I'm talking about marmalade today is a very exciting day because the farm shop have got their stock of Seville oranges in, which means we can now get on and make our marmalade. We've got lots and lots to make hopefully this year. Um, I've already had somebody ask me already this morning if it's ready, but yeah. We've I opened. think that's because we did the marmalade cake. Yeah. So, we, so yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to buy our marmalade, uh, buy our oranges even, and turn it into marmalade this year. Our square reader's playing up a little bit, charging up, isn't it? Cold. Yeah, we wonder whether it's because it's extra cold. It's cold out here all day long. And when we get home, it's still cold. We put it on charge now, it seems to be charging up okay, so. Well, we're all set up, ready, this is Sunday. This is our final day of trade. Hello. 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 Hello.
Thank you. Bye bye. They want a napkin. I said, dye your red next week, <laughs> There you go. It's a bit bleachy, it's alright. Maybe the sun lightens it a bit normally. It might do, no. yeah. It might do. Cheers, Derek. Yeah. Cheers, Derek. Thank you. We've got the oranges now. Yeah. We've got the jars. We've got to send off for the labels. We've got a contraption for putting the marmalade in the jars this time around. Oh, That's right. on its way. So we'll have the marmalade back to you. Okay. Um, and this is a dark chocolate. Oh, yeah. Fresh. Just the same as you always have it, but with yeah. oat milk. Yeah. yeah? Same cream. I, I thought I'd try and milk. Okay. <laughs> Too large. It will be Too large of the usuals, yes. <laughs> Well, that's a, that's a wrap, as they say. I'm just cleaning out the coffee machine, so I'm gonna give this a clean now. We've had quite a good day, haven't we, really? Yeah, we did, it's fine. It's not been as cold today, has it? No, no, no. I'm just cleaning out the coffee machine, just doing a back flush, and then we've got tomorrow off. What are we gonna do tomorrow? Because we got our day off tomorrow. We're gonna go to the canteen in Nailsworth. I think we've shown you that before. But they have done it up, haven't they? They've changed things. They've it, which is lovely. So, yeah. yeah. And they do nice food, and it's just got a real laid back vibe, and that's just what we need on a Monday. Well, should we shoot some footage there? Yeah, we'll shoot some footage. That's huge, isn't it? We're after a new sink, aren't we, for the new shed? Look at the size of that. We wanted it's one massive, a big isn't one it? to get our tins in. It's huge. I think just something stainless steel would be good. <laughs> it's pretty big though, isn't it? Ice bar. It's domestic science. Just like the look of it around here, look at it. Isn't it fantastic? Real sort of mishmash of styles and How to get there? That's the, that's the old part, isn't it? Hello, guys. Don't think anyone's sat there, are they? What did you have, Craig? Oh, there's halloumi in there, isn't there? Halloumi, uh, mushrooms, tomato, potatoes, spinach, beans. I just had the big breakfast, which was nice. <laughs> yes, traditional. Very nice. Happy now, Cho. Cook breakfast. You've been waiting for that, haven't you, all weekend? 
That's a good. Door in that round. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Nice tea. Cup of tea. What more could you possibly want? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a good point to leave this video. We're making some marmalade today, aren't we? Yeah. So we'll call it a day and we'll say goodbye. Bye-bye. See, See you next time. Bye-bye.